A common question that I and many other studio photographers receive is what is that cable coming out of your camera for? It's not long before new photographers discover this is something called shooting tethered. It's the process of capturing your images directly to your computer so that you can see them more clearly and make better decisions when creating the image. In this video, I'm going to show you the advantages of shooting tethered, which software you can use, and how pretty much anyone can set it up in minutes. Nearly every shoot I do is shot tethered. I'm going to provide 10 reasons why shooting tethered can be beneficial to your photography and how you can do it too. Number one, examining the image. This is probably the most important aspect of shooting tethered, as it allows you to preview the image in much finer detail and much more precisely than you can do with a camera's preview screen. It allows you to scrutinize all of the components of your image, specific details such as props, clothes, and composition to ensure that you are achieving exactly what you had in mind. Number two, focus and sharpness. Shooting tethered with many cameras provides you the opportunity to operate and check the camera's focus to a much finer degree by allowing you to make adjustments from the tethered software itself. This can also be useful if creating focus stacked images as you don't need to touch the camera, meaning there is no danger of the camera accidentally moving position during a focus stack. The detail you get with a tethered preview also allows you to check that your focus is pin sharp on a 4K monitor rather than a small screen. Number three, determining the exposure. The measurements you can take shooting tethered are RGB values, which provide information from pure black, that's red zero, green zero, blue zero, to pure white, that's R255, G255, B255. And along with highlight warnings, it means you have a far greater accuracy of exposure checking than with a light meter. Light meters usually measure in one tenth of an f-stop but tethered values give you precision to around 1 30th of an f-stop, along with the ability to view the image in much greater detail means you can make decisions visually more quickly. Other great aspects are retaining the measurements that you take to use them again on a future shoot as a reference. Number four, comparing images. Tethered control also provides the opportunity to compare images while shooting. So if you think you've shot a winner, then you can load it as the reference side by side and continually upgrade when you arrive at a new favorite. It's also possible to rate your images with a number of combinations while you're shooting, such as star ratings or color coding. Number five, fixing problems. If you accidentally change your aperture setting or moved a light, then your exposure could be off. Shooting tethered gives you instant access to the raw adjustments, allowing you to play with the sliders to see if the highlights can be controlled or shadows and exposure be retrieved. That way, if you've made an error, you know if you can move on or need to repeat a shot. Another great tool is white balance and tint. With RAW, you can change this any time later, but if you're shooting tethered, you can take an instant look to see if a warmer or cooler white balance is going to be better, or maybe even influence your decision on lighting and colored gels. Number six, shooting pre-saved treatments. If there's a specific look or style you're aiming for, such as a deeper contrast with a colder tint, or a warmer hue with a lower contrast, then you can create a profile for that look and save it. Then each new image you shoot will load into the tethered software with that profile applied, helping you determine if you're getting the type of mood you'd envisaged. This can be particularly useful when you want to shoot in black and white, as you can create a number of black and white looks that simulate various film stock, allowing you to see that effect immediately when you're shooting. 
You can also switch between profiles to check other black and white looks. Number seven, remote shooting. With continued social distancing, the ability to shoot remotely, that is without an art director or client in the room, means you can easily use Skype or Zoom to share your screen. And an art director can see live the preview images as you shoot them. If the client or art director can be in the room with social distancing, then certain tethered software allows you to simultaneously live Wi-Fi the images to a tablet or smartphone so that the client can view and rate images from a safe distance. Number eight, overlays. Overlays are another great advantage of shooting tethered, especially in commercial photography. It allows you to drop an image into the preview window, scale it and use it as a guide for copy and logo layouts or for precise positioning of images that are going to form composite shots. Number nine, cropping. This is quite simple, but again, it can be very useful as you can shoot looser, but then crop the preview. So each shot loads with a predetermined crop allowing you to visualize the final crop as you shoot, but knowing you have the safety of a wider area if you decide to change the crop later. Number 10, review efficiency. Finally, the efficiency of checking your images is important. Instead of endless scrolling on a camera wheel to discover if you've got the shot or not, you can preview many shots at once in browse mode, making it easier to see if you actually nailed that fashion shot, that particular jumping shot, or that look that you were after. So, as you can see, there are a range of advantages. But let's now take a look at some of the tethered shooting options before we show you how to set them up. Capture One is a popular multi-camera compatible tethering software. This feature pack software provides you with a broad range of raw adjustments as well as rating images and many of the features already mentioned. Lightroom can also be used as a tethering software and it's something that many people are already familiar with. Focus software is the one that I use and it's the proprietary software for Hasselblad cameras and has a great feature set. Other options are tether tools who also make a range of great tethering accessories such as longer, high speed cables, software and even wireless transmission tethering. Then finally, at a more basic level, you will often find that the software that comes with the camera can also allow you to tether. Well, I hope you enjoyed that insight into tethering and found it useful. Thanks very much for watching. If you'd like to learn more about tethering and which cameras tether into which software and how to do it, then check out our Getting Started in Product Photography section on Carl Taylor Education. Here, we've got a whole range of classes from gradient lighting to understanding the inverse square law, how to make a scrim, and the best choice of camera and lenses for product photography. That's at carltaylereducation.com.